Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have a, how is called a polynomial inequality, a quadratic inequality, because this is a second degree polynomial. They ask us to graph the solution set on a number line and express the solution set in interval notation. So first of all, what you want to do is to set up this inequality equals to zero, in fact x minus 7 times x plus 6, you're going to set up that equals to 0 to get the moment where this uh, polynomial is equals to 0. And that will be x equals 7, right? Because we have x minus 7 equals 0. And x plus 6 equals 0, the second uh, factor. And give it, uh, is going to give us x equals negative 6. And in this moment, what I like to do, I'm going to use a table. Here on the top of the table, I'm going to put x. And on the bottom, we can put f of x, the polynomial function. This table will help me to identify the sign of the polynomial on different interval. On this table, the first thing you want to put is negative 6 and then 7. And obviously here I'm going to put 0 and 0, because when x is negative 6 or uh, positive 7, the function is 0. That's the way we found it. The question is now how the function behaves uh, in this interval. So I will suggest you to start with 0 always. And take that 0 and replace it in the original inequality. You're going to get what? We're going to get, uh, uh, let's move here. 0 minus 7, 0 plus 6, which can be done mentally. We end up with negative 7 times 6, which is negative 42. You don't really have to evaluate. You notice this is a negative number. That's the reason I'm going to put here negative. Okay, so similar, I can take more uh, value and see how the function behave if it, it is if it is positive or negative so uh, if you ask yourself and you want to take eight that will be good is a good uh, choice eight so what do we end up with the original inequality we're going to end up with eight minus seven and eight plus six and if you take a look to this uh, product 8 minus 7 is a positive number, is 1. 8 plus 6 is a positive number, is positive 14. This is going to be a positive value. That's the reason I'm going to put here plus, plus, plus. And similar, I can get another value. x equals negative 6. And I'm going to do the same math. A negative 7, I'm sorry. Negative 6 so it's, it's, is a 0, right? So negative 7. And we're going to get, uh, what, negative 7 minus 7, which is a negative number, right? Negative 7 plus 6, another negative number. If you multiply two negative number, you get a positive number. So you notice here the sign alternate in this case. And in most of the cases, you're going to see that alternation. So between negative infinity, right, here is negative infinity, and negative 6, the function is positive between 6, uh, negative 6, sorry, and 7, the function is negative, and between 7 and infinity, the function is um, positive. Again, these are the solution sets. These are the choices and the solution sets, since we, we have greater than 0, are going to be the two intervals where it's positive, these two, and eventually, you may want to put, if that is needed, the union inter the union sign. And that's it. Also, on the last uh, part of the example you see here, I'm going to show you a graphical way, which you can do it if you have a graphing calculator. But I will suggest you to be able to do the algebraic way. Okay. This is the graph of the f of x. And you notice is on the top of the x-axis here, which means it's positive. Yeah, that is this piece. Then it, it goes down. It's a negative. Yeah, that goes over this piece. And then you, again, it's positive. This is a graphical way to find the solution if that is possible for you.
If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.